You're listening to Catalyst Church World Harvest Ministry Podcast, transforming lives and influencing the marketplace, campus, community, and the next generation. We have been asking ourselves common questions, ordinary questions. And um, in every day, sa tuwa mga kinabuhi, there will always be these questions that needs to be answered. Like, as the person next to you, gutom ka or gusto Are you hungry or hungry? Ang ubandari, no, makarelate nga kung gutom, hungry. And so, we, we, uh, we, are, we are somewhat um, exposed. <coughs> we ask questions, sometimes we don't know the answers. Sometimes we ask questions, we already know the answers, but somehow, mangutana lang yapunta because we don't have anything to talk about. We would see a friend, nagdaog daghang bulingon, and we would ask them, mangla ba ka? <laughs> How many of you have tried that? <coughs> Tabagon ko na yung tagdili, maglungag ko. <laughs> of course, mangla ba? For the sake of uh, striking a conversation, we would pose a question. And that's normal for communication's sake. Mga mga ibang post ninyo, mga mga pangutana, para lang na yung magpangutana, na ilamok sa inyo. And uh, again, as I have said, it's normal when conversing with somebody, especially sa dilik ni mo kayo kaila, and so you would ask the following questions. We have been asking questions and I believe God's been answering us. How many of you believe that God is a question-answering God? He has answers for everything. As a matter of fact, His name is the hope of the world. His name is the answer, the solution for every mankind's problem. And so what is your name? They are, these are attributes of a God-given identity. We looked at it last time. And so... <coughs> We realize God has given us a new nature. How many here you've received an achievement after achievement from the Lord? And even so, God wants you to experience new things. Nadili na ang tatang kinabuhi sama sa gihapon. Kumusta? Maulang gihapon. Kusta'y mo ang love life? Murag ko? Zero. Maulang gihapon. Now, God will give you a new experience sama sa tao na oppressed. From a mindset, cemetery mindset to a mindset that is whole. Gibag po sa kinoo. Gibag po na ka sa kinoo. And that's the, the name that we can brag, that we can be proud of. And we can say, I used to be This person, I use, I am known to be a person na uh, uh, ang kinabuhi, guba, bungkang, daot ka ayo. Okay. I used to be coming from a, a mentality na wala na dyan, pupri na yung kutaman sa taman. I used, I am coming from a background where I'm, I feel so low every time. Ubus ang tanas ang kukaling yun. I've been so insecure all my life. I thought I would never amount to something until God gave me a new name, Amen. achievement, new nature. What is your name? It is a name that God has given you. All things are new in Christ. And then we ask ourselves, where do you live? And so we look at characteristics <coughs> of a God-given address, wherein <coughs> you belong to a place of honor that you're no longer to be bullied that you're no longer <coughs> insignificant you're no longer someone who is fearful or, or, or someone that thinks less of yourself nor your family you belong to a place of honor where there is overwhelming peace where God would provide Send, share about God's provision. And I believe God's provision is not only for a select few. 
God is your provider. The other person next to you, God is your provider. Amen. This morning, as I have promised, um, Pastor Simon is somehow um, begged or scheduled to come. Uh, but due to some uh, some uh, changes sa schedule sa uh, uh, container na mabot, so wala siya nakarisin, come out this right now. So we continue with this mini-series. What is your name? Where do you live? Kung tanay mong tapat, how old are you? Sige, historia sa mga. And then we're gonna show this quick video. Maybe you've seen this. Let's watch this. Surely they are winners. Uh, so, one, 
two. At that instant, na it gidayungan na. Gidayungan. Wala na. Na, 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 no. Sorry you kayo, but this is our winner. Lu, what is your secret na nung nilahutay ka? Ukaw ang magagulay. Ay, gulay. Ay, gulay. Dito na. Mo ba? Kung saan man, lo? Fresh man? No, fresh man. Oh, fresh man. Kung saan man yung musik dito, lo? Tanto ba yung the morning? Tanto ba yung for lunch? Tanto ba yung for dinner? Ka! Nika! Here is an outlier, ladies and gentlemen. Walay gulay, walay fresh milk, walay fresh air. Tanduway! Pakpak ang mga namaligyan ito. Mga bisyoso, pakpak. We have our winner right there. Hatag na nga our team. No, by the way, how old are you? 35 years old! How old are you? How old are you? Punta na yung matapad again. How old are you? Well, uh, <laughs> I've said that a couple of times. I'm not going to respect that. I've heard it from my favorite author, Miles Monroe. He said, Life is not measured by duration, it is measured by donation. It is not how long you live, but it's how well you live. And he even said, Don't die old. Die empty. Jesus, our model, our Lord, it didn't take him a long time to make an impact. He didn't die old. He died about 33 plus years old. He died young. He died at a young age. But he died empty. Meaning he was able to empty out everything. And so when you're asked the question, how old are you? It should bring you to a realization. It should bring you to this mindset. How did I live my life? In Psalms chapter 39, we're going to look at these verses and get our points from, from here. Psalms 39, starting verse 4. Psalms 39. Right. Psalm 39 says there, Lord, remind me. This was David. He said, Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered, how fleeting my life is. You have made my life no longer than the width of my hand. My entire lifetime. It's just a moment to you. At best, each of us is but a breath. Each of us is but a breath. This is him realizing, seeing generation after generation. We don't have lots of generations. We only have got one life to live. But when you are able to observe, say, mo mga lolo, makita ni mo mga huma ng kinabuhi. But yet, life goes on. Ang atong kinabuhi sa kalibutan, nagkapadayon, generation after generation, and realize, and we are even surprised na niabot na lang kalit o when at one point we were teenagers, karon hala, gurang naman ko. May nga na mo ba? Hala, 20s na ko. 20s, 30s, 40s. Huwag pa man siguro yung 50s, there is ato ah. But we will realize sooner than later, makita na itong hala. Kita na po itong maingon ba? Ako sa una, kung balon, norli. Kita sa una, huwag mo sige, reklamo sa ito ang mga ginigalan. Because true enough, life is fleeting. And then David went on to say in verse 6, We are merely moving shadows, and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. We heap up wealth, not knowing who will spend it. And so, Lord, where do I put my hope? And then he answered right back to himself, My only hope is in you. 
Isyong namuwa aragya po ng tanan, daghag kong mga tinigom, lain ray mo gasto, asaraman po ba dulog, akong kinabuhi, mubo ra kayo, Lord, unsa na lang. You see, I believe when you get to a certain point in life, you ask these questions. 40 years old na ko? What have I done with my life? 40 years old na ko? And then you look back from when you were young and you will realize, God, There's so much more I wanted to do. Mubo na lang kayong panahon and you start to panic. Ewa ba mag midlife crisis? And that's when you get scared. A lot of people get scared early on in life. A lot of people, most people are scared in the middle part of their lives. Running 40s to 50s. That's when you get scared. Because makita na kag mga bills, no? Mga adulting issues. Ano mo? Bayad na di ko ano No? So una si Mama na matay mo ba yan? Diba si Papa na matay mo problema? Karon, isa din yung nakagraduate na, no? Mag-uol na ka kayo, wala balon. Because these things are real. These issues sa mga kinamang ginatubang. But then, we need to understand God being our source. God being the Father in my Father's house. He will always provide for us. So David was able to surmise at the end of the day, my only help is hope is in you. If you make God your only hope, you will never be disappointed. In this brief sojourn of your life here on earth, you will never be disappointed. As a matter of fact, you will live a life well spent. Your time will be well spent. In Psalms 90, dubbed as prayer of Moses, in verse 10, David wrote, 70 years are given to us. Some even live to 80. That's the average. Lahan na tag mga butag o cinta. Hindi na yun siguro na. But I don't wanna be living that old. Bisa pag mga butag ka na ng edad niya. Wala na gano'n kayo. Nabuhat na <clears throat> significant <clears throat> sa mga kinabuhi. But even, and then he said, you know, some even live to 80, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Soon they disappear and we fly away. Who can comprehend the power of your anger? Your wrath is as awesome as the fear you deserve. Then again, He is giving us this point. Yun siya. Teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. Let me tell you something. If you would come to a realization that life is brief, life is short, you will spend it well. What if you are given a news Because of a sickness or disease that you have contracted, that you only got one month to live, how would you spend your life? Taas pagaling na. I'm sure you would want to spend it to things that really matter. Spend it with family. So Juby is a friend who passed away already. We met him. He's a friend sa community sa mga cactus and uh, what's his name? Go ahead, see. Si Anthony, we met him, my kids met him. And he was here, when we met him, he, he was not aware of his sickness. He was jolly, so, you know, we got so connected automatically. He even wished and decided to build a, a platform for Jubis Cactus, wala lang time na. But then when he went back to Australia, he realized he has a liver something cancer. <laughs> and so fast how he degenerated wala ray tulog ka bulan wala ra kabot og tulog ka bulan and that because he knew about his condition you know he spent most of his time sa pamilya of course sa hospital and so nahimo niya na plot niya ang yang kinabuhi ang yang oras well here are verses in the bible wherein we are Thought we are made aware that our life is short. Bubuh lang atong kinabuhi. So when you are asked the question, "How old are you?" 
Ang mga batan-on, gusto matiguang na. Ang mga tiguang, gusto ta mabalik. Ito batan-on. Ano man We don't seem to appreciate the state that we are in. I play basketball. I wish I was younger. So I could, you know, move more or whatever. But now is the time that we are made aware and we are able to answer this question. How old are you? It would always suggest or reveal a number. But the real question what is what have you done with your life? <clears throat> so how do we best use our time? How old are you? People would ask you. When and during birthdays, how old are you? <coughs> Automatically in my mind, <coughs> in my heart, I would check how have I used my time? How, how have I used the past 40 years of my life? 40 years old. Yung sa ako paggamit ng 40 anyos, kung saan ako paggamit ang nahibilin nga who knows asa taman itugod sa ginoo. For me, I would say, Lord, give me more, enough time so that ma-birth ang tanan na gibutang ni mo sa pinabili. I would want to die empty. I would want to die living my life using my time wisely. Ingin mo tapat, use your time wisely. And so, how are we using our time? I pray na mahimo ni siya nga guide para sa toa. So that when people would ask you, how old are you? You would look to these points and you would make this as a metric system for you to define or to look at these components of a time well spent. Time is best spent having the following components. So, we're going to look at those verses and we're going to discover certain, I believe, God-given components how we should use our time. First, in Psalms 39 verse 6, kung balikan na to, ingo si David, we are merely moving shadows and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. <laughs> Let me pause there. <clears throat> Ingon pa niya, <coughs> sa diyang nagtubo ta, nagdako ta, ma-realize na to in our life, pas-pas kayo ang kinabuhi. Maybe in the city. Pero nato sa, itawag na itong probinsya, pero sa toang lugar, madili, sama sa metro, dili Cebu, dili Manila, para sa, sa iligan, may namugo there. <coughs> Kayo kung grabe ka, relaxing ka sa iligan. How many of you, nakauli mo sa inyo, hindi na ko tawag mga probinsya, pero probinsya mong ganyan mo na ito, sa siyudad, ikumpara sa Cebu, but when we would go to the Maguete, it's a city, but then, ang, ang, ang feel ba? Or other places, no? Like sa Iligan, kumanto ko, grabe, kung sarap kasakayan, matuyok na niyong tibok siyudad. Pero yung kanagang kay siyudad, ay matawin, ay napulapon, ay anak daw. And so, so relaxing when you're in the province. You'll find time, you know, will pass by slowly and you would appreciate this and that. Well, I'm not okay, okay, mga lakaw. Of course, because you're in a vacation mode. But when you're in a city, when you're, when you're in a context of your work environment, ay mga deadlines. Diba? Ay mga things to do. Labi na nagtrabaho na ka. Na ay mga checklist. You have timelines. But then, you will realize David was saying here for all of us to understand and remember that we are merely moving shadows and all our busy rushing ends in nothing. What does that mean? For me, this is number one component of a time well spent and that is we should be you should be tracking your life's purpose. Ignam dapa track your life's purpose. Don't just rush to have you know, these things 
happens in nung kinabi to, to, to make ends meet you're rushing to make ends meet kinanglan kong makakuha ni kinanglan na ni sa kinabi of course we have a timeline of course we have a by the age of 22 mag-graduate na ko by the age of 25 mamidyo na ko by the age of uh, so you will have these schedules and it's it's not common but it is commendable when a young person na plano diba na ba'y plano na yung mong tapad na ba na siya plano sa iyong pagkaskwila sa iyong mahala plano sa usay iyong buhaton sa iyong kinabuy financially emotionally and so naanitanan but when we are rushing rushing and rushing when yung wala'y plano Realize na to, hala. 35 years old na ko. Senior high pa man ko. Wanin mo na siya? He's only 35 years old na niya. Sige, apunta na o manga comics. Hala. Sige, apunta o dua o duta. Tuara. 35 years old na ka. They pass time and they pass time. But I'm not going to be picking on you for those things. But a lot of people, a lot of individuals are in a time warp. A lot of people, they're lost. And it makes them even more depressed every single passing day because they have not achieved something. But then the truth is, for a lot more people that may have accomplished something, they're still empty. You see, this is a statement of God through David here in telling us all are busy rushing ends in nothing. That's why we must be able to track our life's purpose. And David, sorry, and uh, it's not there, but uh, I love it when uh, Paul, the apostle, was able to declare for all of us to read in scripture, for all of us, this generation, to understand that we should only be rushing to meet one purpose. And Paul said in Acts chapter 20, verse 24, he said, Paul, but my life is worth nothing to me. He is an accomplished person. He's a successful business person. He's a successful, I believe, he's, in, 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 uh, he's a lawyer. He's very good with arguments. But Paul said, My life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. As Catholics, we always say our life's purpose is to showcase God's character. As much as you sab ka sa ginoo, you showcase your new nature. That is your purpose. Sa una, sigita pandamay, sigita madamay sa kinabuhi ng waray hinungdan. Our lives are busy partying. Our lives is busy, you know, chasing after the next high. Our life is busy, you know, trying to get that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Naghandad mga preoccupations. But then it ends up with emptiness. Leaving us empty at the end. Kita na to. But now, you have Jesus Christ in your life. You realize there's a higher purpose. Kita ni mo yung kinabuhi. Lord, thank you for saving me. And so you showcase the new nature. It's then that you're able to tell the people and the people will see the goodness of God. You showcase the nature of God. And not only that, as we are living this life, we will spread God's influence. God will surely bless you. God will surely give you this and that. God will surely promote you. The Bible said, if you seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, all these things will be added unto you. 
But make sure may imong purposeful imong kinabuhi. Wala ka nagdagandagan lang but it ends in nothing. Jesus said, what profit is it? Even if you gain the whole world yet you lose your soul. Unya ang naon sa man, huwag na kong laudi ka. Unya ang naon sa man, huwag na nindot yung trabaho, nindot yung pag-eskwela. Unya sa man, huwag na top seller ka niya, or best agent ka, or best manager ka. Mag-unsa man ang tanan, empty na gihapon ka. Ewa ni mo nabuhat ang tawag sa ginoo sa ibang kinabuhi. Yes. You see, life is empty without God. All our accomplishments are empty without God. Our purpose is, why God has blessed us so we can is so we can be a blessing to so many others. That's what Joseph said. God sent me here. God sent me ahead sa inyuha for a specific purpose. And so he was tracking his life's purpose. When you are tracking your life's purpose, it is a time well spent. You know why? Because pag abot sa mga problema, dili ka basta-bastang matandog because you know you are right on track. Yes. Because when you do the right thing, it's not always... When you're doing the right thing, it's not always easy. But the guarantee is always right. When you're doing God's will, say, Mom, can I believe you? You track your purpose. Secondly, in Psalms chapter 90, verse 10, 70 years are given to us. Some even live to 80. But then here's a specific observation. Ingon si David, but even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Kanindot kayo na assurance. The assurance is, ingin mo ito pa, there will always be pain and trouble. There will always be pain. There will always be trouble. <coughs> Even in our best years. Even in our best years, there will always be pain. There will always be trouble. What God is trying to tell us through that verse is, you don't belong here on earth. You are not for earth use only. Use your time well. <coughs> you should never be comfortable. <coughs> never think, kay, basta mahuman lang ko. Basta mag-graduate lang yung ko. Pag mag-graduate, lahat na po ng problema. Man. Man, sa una at least, lahat mo problema. Kung sa una pagpasal, pero na kay baon, na kay Kung sabay i-provide sa mo ha, karo ni Pasar na kayo, graduate na ka, lahat na kong problema. Ha? Ngayon mo ba sa inyo ha? Baka, um, <coughs> nakahuma na. Nakatrabaho na. Lahat na kong problema. Asan naman siya? Ngayon si Uncle sa kuha ka, basta mahuman lang ka doon, ma-engineer lang ka. Diba? Video ka mga problema. Una-una ha, you study first before you enter the kingdom of love. Oh, di mo mga na yung mga tambag mo sa mga ginikanan. Pero ang tiksi si Papa, pa, nahuman na, engineer naman ko ba, asa naman. Nawa pa man lagi. Lahi na po yung problema. O karun, nanay, nanas yan. Ayan, pagkasala na mo, ay, kadindot. Kadindot na kayo ibati. Lahi na po yung problema. Even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. Don't get into the illusion na na ay euphoria, na na ay state, state of euphoria, state of nirvana. Because even the singer of nirvana, nirvana, si Kurt Cobain. Singing the song, I hate myself, I want to die. Pulled up the trigger, killed himself. Even the best tears are filled with pain and trouble. That's why we have to understand how to use our time wisely. We track our life's purpose so that pag-abot sa mga problema, makaingunta nga dili, makatandog sa buwan. 
Because the next that we need to be understanding and to be looking at, kinanglan ato ang kastuhon atong kinapuhiin improving your current situation. You keep improving. How do we best use our time? I-track na ito itong life, life's purpose. Secondly, we keep improving. We keep improving. We keep improving. Because that is the nature that God has given us. That we are the head and not the tail above only and not beneath. There will always be problems. Don't be, don't succumb to these problems. Don't give in to these problems. Keep improving. If you see a problem, if you see the need, all. Tubaga, atubala, ayok atras. Look at yourself. How are you doing financially? Never settle to the point na okay na ko. There will always be problem. There will always be trouble. And there will always be opportunities na magamit ka sa ginoo. Improve your current situation. Improve the situation sa imuhang, sa imuhang emotions. And so when you're engaged in some something uh, emotional, you're looking at a lifelong relationship, kunya wala pa, just chill. Salik sa ginoo. Amen. Ayaw, sige. Kasuya ng mga naana. No? Nagposes na silang picture. Wala lang kakabalo. Nismile lang natin ha. Pero dagang ka ng problema kung gano'n ito bang. No? Picture ta picture. Ay, don't you have any picture? Have any picture? Smile na nan. Pagkaw man ang picture. Ay, mga problema. Ay, mga problema. Even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. You never know what's in the picture. You would never know what's in the post. You would never know. Karon, we're full of facade and full of masks. Laghanta ginasulog. You enjoy your season, enjoy your level, but continue to look for ways to improve it. That's our call in life. That's why when God is in us, when Jesus, the life of God, nas to makinaboy, we have the ability to get wealth. Sige nga pa. We have the ability to improve our situation. We can trust in the Lord. That's why David said, My hope is only in you, God. And so, these are components of a time well spent. We track our life's purpose. We improve. We continue to improve. If you're a student, Improve ni mo na. Improve ka nun ay. Yung mo situation. Kung naa ka na trabaho, look for ways every time. Na dili po na siya meaningful. Dili na siya chasing after success, after another success. Kaya naa na may purpose ni mong kinabuhi. This time you realize, God has placed me wherever God has placed you. He will say, this is going to get better. Kung estudyante ka, this time, I'm gonna have better grades. Kung nagnegosyo ka, this business is going to succeed. I'm gonna get into something better, something new. Because God wants us to live our lives here on earth. Nanito to kayo. Kay showcase na kita niya. Spread na kita ito ang iyang influence. Mo na kita itong purpose. And we're gonna subdue the enemies. How many of you believe that? How many of you believe you're a catalyst? Hindi mo tapad you're a catalyst. You can improve. Dili tinuod na ngawa na dyan pag naam no. There is hope. There is hope for you. Your situation can change. I declare over you this morning, your situation will change. Allow God to speak to you. Some of you are coming here this morning and coming off with problems which you know na ni mong adin na ni mong usap or ukuban pa. No, no. You keep improving your current situation. That is how you can best spend your life. A lot of people nagpundo na lang ni resign. They have resigned to the fact that nothing will change. Pupri na dyan ko taman sa taman. They have resigned to the fact that you know, with their low self-esteem, with their insecurity, we have resigned to the fact that we're no better than others. Never accept that. Rebuke it in Jesus' name. Of course you can be better. 
Don't look at other people and magsuya suya ka. Envy is not from God. Jealousy is not from God. You may not have the things that they have, but remember, you are called to be better. And your state of being better, don't compare it with others. Compare it with your previous self. You only have got to compete with your previous self. Challenge yourself. In ourselves, in our groups. The whole week, let's be meditating about, about this, <coughs> this message. How I'm going to improve my current situation. You look at yourself financially. How am I going to improve my current situation? Tanawa ay mong pamilya, how can I improve in this current situation? Tanawa ay mong emotions, how can I move on from my current situation? Tanawa ay mong trabaho. Tanawa ang payslip, tutukin pa kayo. Magayon ka nga, Lord, I'm grateful but not satisfied. How can I improve my current situation? Gusto ka, mauna lang na yung sildo, tamas taman, ha? 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 Pagkatanda ko na yung tapat, mo na lang yun na! Ha? No? Kung na'y na-crash ninyo, na pislip ng mga. Mo na lang yun na, mabuhay ka na. Improve your current situation. Amen? Because you can do it. God wills and wants you to do it. You can do it. If you have the Spirit of God living in you, you can be better. Life can be better. A lot of people, they think, wala na yun, wala yun na. And so, they do the routine. Balik-balik na lang. I pray that from this message, God will prick our hearts. Usultas itong mga kwarto, usultas itong mga balay, daghan kayong mga buta nga naanad na ta. Naanad na ta nga ni nani. No? Daghan kayong mga buta nga naanad na ko. Daghan mga buta nga sa mga balay. Kinanganan mga usap, pero wala nang may usap. Nga naman, sige lang. No. Let's challenge ourselves. Shall we? Can we change? Can we improve? Pwede ba na? Yes. Amen. Pwede kayo. Pwede kayo. Kung gusto na itong magamit atong kinabuhi sa insakto, if we want to use our time well, look for ways to improve every single day. And putting us, and I believe the Holy Spirit wants to put us all in this challenge. Okay? No fanfare, no, not much tracking involved. Just you. Just be better. Don't compare with others. And don't brag about this and about that, your achievement. And you will realize, one year from now, you will remember this message. And you will say, I thank God that yes, even the best years are filled with pain and trouble. But I thank God because I'm able to conquer those things. There's no better place than to be in the presence of God, in heaven, in His kingdom. You know, see, David, soon they disappear and we fly away. That's true, because we will all die and we will be with God. But while we are here on earth, we continue to conquer. That's our job description, to conquer. God gave us, mankind, this ability to conquer. Have dominion. You are a leader. Amen. Amen. Next, Psalms 39 verse 6. Same verse kaganina. When uh, we are encouraged, you know, all our busy, rushing, ends in nothing. That's why we have to track our life's purpose to improve our current situation. And it said, not knowing who will spend it. That's the problem. Nagtarong ta, nagplastar ta, but only for ourselves. And when we are gone, the next generation, wala nag kinabuhi sama sa itong pagkinabuhi. As disciples of Jesus, we always pass the baton to the next generation. And so the next 
step or way component we can best spend our life is we always mentor. So mentoring the next generation. Always be looking forward for the next generation. You want to use your time well? You want to use your time well? Make a timetable. Plot your life. Am I on track? Sa kong purpose. Am I on track? Sakto ba? Naka-plotting ang imo ang kinabuhi. Na-plot ni mo imong pamilya. Na-plot ni mo imong negosyo. Imo ang trabaho. Naka-plotting ni mo imong mga anak. Pila ka buka ng imo imo ang mga nagganahan. As the Lord would allow it. And so, kung sa'y gusto ni mo, sa mong sitwasyon, how are you gonna afford these things? How are you gonna improve your current condition? And then, most of all, how am I gonna raise my kids? How am I gonna raise these disciples? You see, we will, we are moving in a season. There was a season puros mga estudyante ang nasa Katani City Gates Christian Center. Amen. Kasi mga sadyante sa una, karoon bakante na. Mga sadyante, ngayon mga mga bakante, trabahante, negosyante. Because we are always mentoring the next generation. We always pass it on to the next generation. And so we teach. That's why, you know, yun Apostle Paul, as we have been taught, we teach, Asia, as you have been taught, teach others also. And they will teach others also. We mentor the next generation. Don't keep it to yourself. The salvation that God has given you. That's why we share the gospel. That's why we share the gospel with our life. We influence the people around us. Makita nila how God has blessed you. You bring them to church. You bring them to the cells. Bring them. So they will, And you're invited this morning. Some of you were invited. And the people that invited you, they are people na ginausab sa ginoo. Let us mentor the next generation. Let's help others. Not knowing who will spend it. Dag ang mga tato, ang mga tao, daghan ang mga kwarta, ilang mga anak. Wala nakapanunod. Wala nakapadayon. Yung pa nila, mga insik, grabe yun sila. Kaayo makapasa sa ilahang knowledge, sa ilang wisdom, sa next generation. Muna ang ilang mga bata, mga ilang mga kahira, mga cashier. Sa ilahang mga negosyo. Bata pa lang, ilan nang ginatrain. Ginatudluan nila prinsipyo sa negosyo. Ginatudluan nila sa prinsipyo sa kinabuhi. Kita, ginatudluan na sa mga ginikanan sa una. Di itaganahan na minaw. Kaya ito at ito, mag-junin ta, mag-takes ta. Magpalupad ng tabano. <laughs> Ang mga Pinoy, yun na na. Ala, ito at ito, gahantak ta. Ga... Slipper game ta. <laughs> Bungkula. Uguban pa. Takyan. Sa may mga duwa ninyo. Sige ba yung mga. Hago. Shatong. Two ata na two. We don't wanna be involved in these things. Perhaps itong mga parents wala yun nagpasa sa itong mga life skills. But how about now? You want to spend your life well? Mentor the next generation. Be a blessing. And that's a big challenge to all of us. It's a big challenge to me, for my family. My boys are fast growing up. My JB, my JJ, my JB, they're fast growing up. I need to mentor them. I need to teach them skills. We had a, a JJ and JB, we have a, a like PE day, their home school, but my PE day, and so paabog din sila sa kuwa mga bakanti pagkahapon ng taon. So, i-wrap nila lang kamot, i-vaccine nila ng PA nila. Hiya! 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 Ano d'yo kayo? Makasipa, bro. Makapalit yung tao. JB was playing basketball. He's so tall. He's been playing basketball more. I almost finished. Ah. So, you know, these, these kids, they deserve our time. Amen. Yes. They deserve the life lessons. Mga nag... Please lang kung pag-agi ka nga, gibuwakan ka, guyap, masakitan ka, igna kita ng next generation, pag-amping kita eh. Mentor the young. 
women. Mga lalaki, mentor young men. That's what we call discipleship. Industry high. And uh, lastly, Psalms 90 verse 12 teach us to realize the brevity of life so that we may grow in wisdom. The most important thing, kinanulad akong bantayan, dili lang kayang pag-track sa atong purpose, pag-improve sa atong current condition, dili lang pag-mentor sa next generation, but also what we call eternal preparation. It's the most important thing. Our lives here on earth are at best 70 or 80, as what the Bible suggests. Or makita na to, maobserbaran sa kinabuhi. But when we die, we're not hili kayo nga wala na, finish na, no. When we die, we only live our earth suit. This is our earth suit. But the real us, the one, the real us, the one speaking to you, tanawa yung tapad, hili na siya mao, lawas na na, tanawa. That's just a physical, that's the earth suit. Kung wanto to sa space, we have a space suit, Right? So we can survive space. Without an earth suit, we die. If we go underwater, we have a water suit. <laughs> we go on a scuba diving, diving suit. Not into so we can breathe underwater, na oxygen. Okay? Because the environment suggests na tay sulubon. Here on earth, we have this earth suit, this body. To interact with nature, to interact with the environment. We have lungs to deal with, to survive. But the real us lives on when we die. Lives on when we die. And the best way to spend our life here on earth is to prepare for eternity. You know the Bible said, Hebrews 9 Verse 27, the Bible said, Accurately, um, Makita na to. And just as each person is destined to die once, and after that comes judgment, so also Christ died once for all time as a sacrifice to take away the sins of many people. See, God created us to be immortals. God created us eternal beings like Him. The problem is, nakasala ang tao. Ingo nang gino, don't eat of the fruit of that tree because the moment you eat it, you will surely die. That is not death na, wala na, finish na. That is death that the moment you eat of the fruit of that tree, you will be separated from me. That's as good as death. Death means separation. But, because we are eternal beings, di yun mahuman atong kinabuhi, eternity. Because of sin, because the devil who was banished, nakasala ang yawa, and they're thrown in a place of eternal damnation. And there is a biblical, there's a place for them because they rebelled against a holy God. The created being, angels, they fell, lines of fallen angels, because they rebelled against God. Because Lucifer thought, I can be God, bigger than God, and, and all these foolish suggestions in mind, thwarted by sin, nahimo siyang nakasala, nagrebelde, they were banished. And to get even with God, gusto siyang manimalo sa gino, Di man siya makasukul sa ginawa siya ibaw. Ang iyahang gisutlan, ang iyang gitintal, ang hinimo sa ginawa ng mga mga tao. Ingo na ginawa, I don't wanna make a creation that will love me automatically. I want to give them a choice, not a free will. O nagibutang niya ang tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ingo siya, don't eat. Because you, if you will eat this, you will be like the devil cut off. But because God loves us so much, and that's the message of the gospel, He sent His Son, His only Son, Jesus Christ, 
Because the only way to pay for the penalty of our sins is death. And He doesn't want you to die. God doesn't want anybody to die. Because we are His beloved. Di niya gusto mamatay ka. Si Jesus ang nagpakamatay sa inyo. That's why it's never about religion. Catholic Church, we don't believe that we are the way, the truth, and the life. Only Jesus claimed that. And so, here, in this community, we challenge everybody to prepare for eternity. Because when we die, we don't stop. We move on to the next. And we move on to eternity. Doing what we really should be doing. And living in God's presence. And so, we can prepare. As I close, how do we use our time? Well, we look at these things. Tanaw na to. Are we right on track? How are you? How's your life right now? Are you on track? Siguro na mga problema. Siguro na mga challenges. Let it be. Very important thing is dili ka na tuyuk tuyuk lang imong kinabuhi. The most important thing we need to be noting is dili ka purposeless ka. Dapat kabalo ka. Dapat unsa ka karun. Nag-attract ka sa mong kinabuhi. You're improving your current situation. Let me tell you something. I want to pray for us this morning. And if you are here and you feel like you're stuck, you feel like okay naman kung ano yung situation, God can move all of a sudden. You know when you hear of stories here in front, I want to testify sa inyo yung panisen na ganina, hindi siya sa iyo may prosesong gagian na. They worked through it. I've shared, they've shared with me a lot of times. Pastor, kani, they've always consulted. Not because I know everything, but because we honor our leaders. Because we honor God-given authorities. Because we honor guidance from the Word of God. And so, you know, when you're sharing with your catalyst groups or mga cell groups, we're open we improve our situation sa itong mga love life, sa mga finances, sa mga negosyo, sa mga trabaho. We are, a, we, are a, we are a community that encourages people. Come on, you can be better. Amen? Amen. You can be better. I want to tell you, your life can be better. Your situation can be better. And when you're, when you're there, somehow, na may accomplishment sa mong kinabuhi, Even if you're just going through things past and looking at always think of the new generation. Always think sa mga nagsunod sa iyo. Kung ate ka, kung kuya ka, tabangin ang imong kauban. Imong bagong invite. Join ka na. And walk them through how you're able to cope up with stress, how you're able to cope up sa, sa struggle, sa depression. How you cope up with problems. You mentor, you teach them. This life is not just about us enriching ourselves, but enriching others as well. And most of all, we are here this morning, and you haven't received Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. We do that now. Amen. Come on, let's all, let's all stand. Let us connect to God and say, Lord, I want to use my time wisely. Close your eyes. Make a simple prayer to the Lord. Lord, I want to use my time wisely. It's not about being old. It's not about being young. It's about using your precious time in a God-given way. Come on, I want to challenge you. And you are here and you feel like you are stuck. I declare over your life, you will have your breakthrough in Jesus' name. You can improve. Don't stay there. I rebuke those mindsets that you're not gonna be progressing anymore. That you're always a failure. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. You are not a failure. I'm gonna tell you, you are a success. And you will succeed. It's a matter of trying again. It's a matter of pushing harder. It's just a matter of trusting the Lord more. It's a matter of believing in God. When God says that it will happen, it will happen. It's just a matter of time. Some of you, perhaps you feel like you've been distracted. You've been 
running around in circles, I want to tell you today, discover your purpose in the Lord. Don't run aimlessly as the Apostle Paul said. Don't just beat air, boxing in the air. Shadow boxing, no. Hit your target. Come on, let's lift our hands. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord, these hands that are raised, our hands that are raised. Lord, we don't want to die just old. We die. We want to die empty. Lord, that our lives are not measured by the number of years that we have here on earth. But our lives, oh God, will be based on what we have donated, what we have done with our with our years. Lord, I pray that your people, that we can track our life's purpose. Lord, whatever situation we're in, there will always be troubles, there will always be pain. And Lord, we will continue to improve because of the grace that you've given us. Help us mentor the next generation. And most of all, help us prepare for eternity. Lord, I pray for every single person that they will encounter you in a personal way. Lord, in their journey, in their walk with you, I pray that you will draw nearer and nearer to Jesus. He is our only hope. Father, we surrender. And again, oh God, we dare ourselves to change. We dare to use our times, our times here on earth well. We will use our time to glorify you. We honor and praise you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening to Catalyst Church Podcast. For more updates, like us on Facebook at Catalyst Church Cebu or visit our website at catalystchurch.ph.